I'm Philip Jones in the Jones Family Kitchen. Today's recipe, sweet potato and ham hash. The ingredients for today's recipe are sweet potatoes, diced Jones Dairy Farm boneless tender juicy ham, of course. Got some onion, some green and red bell pepper, some garlic, an egg, a little bit of chopped parsley, some salt and pepper, and of course a little butter and, and olive oil for browning the vegetables and potatoes in. And now we begin the assembly of the hash. First we're going to add our sweet potatoes to a hot skillet with the butter and the olive oil. Next I'm going to add some of the bell peppers, the red and green diced bell pepper. After your vegetables are all browned, we're going to add the most important thing and that's the ham to the ham hash. So we've done that. We're going to cook that for another minute or two and put it into our molds. What I'd like to do is take the hash and put it into ring molds so that we can bake it in the oven with the eggs on top and then you can slide these off at the end and it makes a very nice presentation. Now we've got all of our ham and vegetables and seasonings into the hash itself. I'm going to put this right into these molds. Kind of pack it in. Just like that. We're going to take an egg. Crack it right in the middle of the mold itself. Get a double yolk bonus egg right there. So these will go into the oven for about 10 minutes until your eggs are cooked just how you like them. Take them out, remove the ring from the hash. Sweet potato and ham hash. It's easy to prepare, it's a warm, comforting, hearty breakfast, and for me it's a great way to start a new family tradition with a delicious recipe. 